Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Thursday, July 9th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. My scripture for today is Romans 8, verse 6. The mind set on the material is death. But the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. This is the word of the Lord. When I was a boy, I wanted to be at the church every time the doors were open. It didn't matter if it were Sunday school, worship, youth group, vacation Bible school, choir, Wednesday night suppers. That's where I wanted to be. And in my teen years, I began to feel a call to the ministry. But I wouldn't say I was particularly spiritual. I've been blessed or cursed with an analytical mind. And so early on, I approached the Holy Spirit rather as if it were a science experiment. <laughs> but the Spirit has made its impression on me over the years. I have felt the powerful presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Almost tangibly have I felt his love. The Spirit has led me to grow and to learn, but has given me a deep sense of peace. I have witnessed many miracles, and I trust in the spiritual. I invite you during this time, of chaos and division, to seek a closer walk with the Lord and to become more spiritual in your approach. It's not natural for us as Americans. We live in a very material world, but there are deep rewards and challenges to inviting the Spirit into your life. Even if you aren't a Christian, and you're listening to me today, I challenge you to ask questions, honestly and openly, to seek the presence, dare to believe that there is something more and your rewards will be rich, I believe. I call us to embrace the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you call us to be your children, but that you promised the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, to surround us always. May we walk more closely with you, Jesus, during these uncertain times, and may you grant us by the Spirit the peace that passeth all understanding. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.